Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. You look like you're covered in cow cum. Something you don't see every Maximus back with another 31 horror toys in 31 days and today we're going to take a look at another uh, vinyl pop uh, figure set it's from pop town uh, series it's dr peter vinkman with the firehouse uh, for the 35th anniversary of ghostbusters now i found this figure set at my local walmart down here in greenwood indiana uh, they had it on sale for 20 dollars um, the last time i had seen this it was 29.99 it was i want to say it was over at gamestop um, i fell in love with the firehouse absolutely had to have it uh, to go with my hollywood rides uh, Ecto-1, this is going to definitely go up on my uh, movie shelf. The Peter Bankman looks okay, but to be honest, it's all about the firehouse. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Dr. Peter Bankman and the firehouse in the packaging. And this thing's pretty good sized, I gotta say. We get this really nice 35th anniversary Ghostbusters logo. It says Pop Town. We got the uh, two pop figures in there. Side of the package just has the title of it. This side's got some nice slime going on right there. Uh, top of the box has a little window you could see through. Back of the package here. Has got, uh, again, the nice little glowy green slime, 35th anniversary Ghostbusters logo, the pop town that it comes with, and then all the other figures you can collect. I almost got the Slimer set, but uh, I passed on him. I think he came with... I can't remember who he came with. But it definitely looks cool. He might have been by himself. These might be the singles, um, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, but yeah, this looks really cool. Definitely dig that. The other figures that can go along with this. Very nice, very cool, but yeah, um, I am digging this thus far. And that's about it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get the Firehouse and Dr. Venkman out of box and see what we think. So here we have Venkman and the Firehouse out of the packaging. And, you know, I gotta say, I, I adore the Firehouse here. Uh, again, this is, this, is, this is why I bought the thing to begin with. Though I do have to say the detail on Venkman here is pretty nice. You know, recently I was in New York City in uh, Midtown Manhattan, and I, I, man, I came really close to jumping on a train and running down uh, to the south side of the city uh, to visit the actual firehouse they used in the Ghostbusters film, um, and I, I just didn't have the opportunity to do so. The next time I'm in uh, New York, I think I want to uh, try to do that. But uh, yeah, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Love the detail on it. Now, I will say the one thing is that the sign here is very, very fragile looking. And I can see that snapping off very easily. So be aware of that when you go to display this out of the package. Or if a small child gets their hands on it. This will be going up on my movie shelf, so I don't really have much of a concern there. Uh, but yeah, definitely very, very cool. So as far as articulation, the, the, the firehouse has zero articulation. It's, it's a building with no back door, which is very, very strange. I wish the doors down here opened. Uh, that would have been kind of nice, but alas, we did not get that. Now, Venkman himself, uh, he does have some articulation in his head. It moves back and forth. It does move very, very nice, uh, so that's cool. Um, I do dig that. I wish that the pop figures had some more articulation, at least to make their arms go up and down or something. That would be cool. But alas, they don't, which is why I don't normally collect them. 
So taking a closer look at Vinkman here, I think this might be one of the better painted pops that I own. Um, I love all the marshmallow cream everywhere. He's got the dirt and soot on his face. That looks really nice. The jumpsuit looks good. It's got more marshmallow everywhere. He's got his proton pack hanging off his little belt. Um, very cool. The proton pack on the back actually looks very, very nice. Uh, the blacks are nice and shiny uh, like the gloves and boots were in the film. Uh, the little proton packs got a lot of nice paint detail on it. Looks like it's missing some blue and yellow to me, but that, that might just be me. Uh, but overall, I think this thing looks pretty cool. You can definitely tell it's Venkman from the end of uh, the Ghostbusters movie. And, well, that's the point, and it gets it across. So taking a closer look at the Ghostbusters Firehouse HQ, this was the reason I even got this thing. I love this, it looks very cool. Love the door, the yellow paint, the yellow lights behind it, the sign, it's perfect. Looks good, all the brick is the right color. It's got the chimney here on the side, which is nice. The one thing I will say, it could probably use some paint wash. It's very bland in color. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate. I find it weird there's no back door on the back of the thing here, but you're never really going to look at that, I guess. And I don't know if the firehouse actually does or not, because I haven't got down to actually see the building in New York City. There's a little bit of slime hanging off of one of the windows there. we got the side entrance, but overall, I mean, this thing looks cool, and this was the reason I got it, uh, was for this to put up on my movie shelf. For comparison, here we have Vinkman in the firehouse with the doctor. Um, it's just a random pop that I have that I got in a, a grab bag at the flea market. But as you can see, Vinkman's a little bit taller than the doctor, and I don't know if that should be accurate or not. So it is the Ghostbusters 35th anniversary Vinkman and firehouse set something you want in your Ghostbusters collection? Well, I'm going to say yes just for the firehouse. Uh, if you're a pop collector, I think you're going to adore this. Um, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, you're definitely going to like it. Uh, I really, like I've said many times in this video, wanted it for the firehouse to put up on my uh, movie shelf. Um, I'm going to put the Ecto-1 Hollywood Rides next to it. I think those two look, look very, very cool together. Um, you know, a, a few things on this. I wish that they had a little bit more paint wash on the firehouse itself. And I wish the doors at the bottom actually opened up. That would have been pretty cool. Vankman done very well. Very well painted. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, but definitely all around worth 20 bucks. So there it is. The Ghostbusters 35th Anniversary Vankman and Firehouse HQ for 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.